Hey there and welcome to my channel. My name is Hunter. Um, I just wanted to show you really quickly today how to get your video off of your old Hi8 tapes, stuff that you have probably a closet full of from when you were growing up, how to get them off these little tapes and get them onto the computer and digital files so you have them for forever. So definitely be sure to like, subscribe to the channel, it would help a lot. This is our second video ever on this channel. Um, let's go ahead and hop into this quick step-by-step -step of how to get your video from these bad boys onto the computer. Let's do it, let's go ahead and hop into the video. All right, so to get your videos off these old Hi8 tapes and to get them on the computer, you're gonna need four things. So the first thing, of course, is your tapes. Um, you have to find them. Hopefully they're not damaged. Hopefully they've been able to stand the test of time with your stuff. You're gonna need to find these bad boys, get them cleaned up, get them ready to roll. The second thing that you're gonna need is an old camcorder. This is probably the most tricky to find if yours is broken or you don't have it anymore from the past. See if your parents have it. Uh, see if a friend has one maybe laying in their closet somewhere from years ago. Um, but it needs to have the playback feature. So the one that I am using is a Sony Handycam Vision. Um, so definitely, definitely this is a great option. It's been super easy to get it working with my tapes. Um, and so this next thing that you'll need after the camcorder and the tapes is a capture device. So I got this on Amazon super cheap i'll link it in the description for you guys if you're wanting to pick up one of these i think it was like 10 or 12 bucks um, but it lets you hook up to your computer and then hook up to the camera so you can get audio and video feedback to have it in the file of the video so you're gonna need this the camcorder that bad boy and the last thing is a computer um, a computer it can be a mac i'm using my mac here but you can use a mac windows um, just anything that you can download the software called obs which i'll link below as well um, OBS is open broadcaster software. It lets you record um, different capture devices and stuff, which is what we're using today. So let's go ahead and hop into the step-by-step -step of how you can get this stuff from these tapes onto the computer. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna need to do is grab your camcorder and grab your tapes, and you're gonna need to just load them up one by one uh, and get them in your camcorder and make sure it works. And then once you have a good uh, assumption of if it works, the way I would always do it is just get it on, turn it to the uh, playback feature and then you can see on the screen, you can kind of watch it back on here before you ever hook it up to the, cam the computer to make sure it works. So um, definitely rewind back through, figure out where you want to start the recording. And once you do that, then we will go about how, hook how we hook this up to the computer. All right, so step number two is really easy. We're just gonna take these two ends of this uh, capture device that I have and we're gonna connect them to the camera. Um, so I'll try to bring it in a little bit closer for you guys. So the camera on the front end of mine, at least it has a port for your audio and it has a spot for the video. Um, so you're just gonna quickly plug these bad boys in right here, nothing too hard. Um, and there we go. And we, then we're gonna take the other end and connect it to the computer. Um, whichever computer you have, this might look a little different. That's how I get mine plugged up. And look at that, you already see it's appearing on my OBS. I'll show you all of this next on the computer. I'll either turn the camera or I'll probably just do a screen capture of what I'm doing here um, on the computer. All right, so this is the portion where we kind of look at the screen uh, recording and kind of how we can go ahead and uh, get this footage over there. So you'll have to turn on your camcorder on your cam uh, like on the actual device and then once you get OBS downloaded um, which I can show you guys really quickly where you get OBS at so if you just open a regular browser and if you search up OBS um, it should bring you to here and then open broadcaster software you click on that and then it's literally right there Windows Mac or Linux I don't even know what Linux is but that is where you can download the software and once you download it and get it all installed on your computer, it will look like this, which is pretty cool. So um, I have it all compute, all the stuff connected like I was showing you before, and now it's here. So now we have a scene, and then you have where it says sources. So we're gonna add two sources. We need to add a video capture device. So we'll label this one camcorder, and then we will select the device. So mine is called AV to USB 2.0, and we will hit okay. And then we have to scale it up to fit and kind of just center it up. So somewhere in there, perfect, that looks perfect. And then we need to add the audio output capture, or it might be input capture, yeah, audio input capture. Um, and we'll hit OK, and we will select the USB device as well. And that should, if I am not mistaken, we see right here that will 
play, this green line will move with the video when I hit record. Um, so before we hit play on the camcorder though, we need to hit start recording right here. But I have learned before you even do any of this, you need to check your settings and make sure your video is going where you want. Um, so for me, it was in this settings right here for recording. Um, I just have it go to my desktop so it's easy to find afterwards. Um, and then you wanna make sure you select the right recording format. I use MOV for my videos. Um, so once you have double checked that, then you will hit start recording here and then you will hit play on your camcorder. And here in a few seconds, you should see some footage playing. And look at that, it is capturing the audio like I was talking about right here. And it's also capturing the video up here. Um, so you can see that whenever I'm done recording these, it will be synced up, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna show you guys this whole recording thing. That's how simple it is. And when your video is done playing on your camcorder, all you have to do is press stop recording right here, which is pretty easy. Um, so definitely, definitely, definitely take advantage of this system. It's super easy to do. And then when you are done, I'll show you really quickly what those files look like. So I'm gonna hit stop recording. I'm also gonna hit pause on my camcorder. I'm gonna close OBS and then I'm going to pull up the file. I had it on my lower desktop. So there it is right there. And this is what you get. This is what you get when you are done. You get this cool uh, file. Come on, there we go. And the audio's there, the video's there. Um, super, super cool. And then you can store them wherever, flash drives, hard drive, whatever works best for you. You can even send them to your phone, post them online. And yeah. All right, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. Um, I encourage you hop on, start getting some of these old tapes preserved, get them on your computer. You will not regret it to have those digital files for forever. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We're trying to uh, get this channel going um, and just helping people with their old retro tech. So thank you again for watching. I'm gonna end it like I ended the last one. I just wanna show you guys a cool little clip uh, that I shot on this camcorder and then now digitized um, of just me and my son. Um, just a cool little video that I made one day of me and him um, just hanging out. So definitely check out this video. Thank you again for watching. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace.
so good. All right.